natural world. Understand? So now, so far, uh, church has not spoken in terms of uh, MI mathematics, but now, loud and clear, loud and clear, 2015, Pope Francis has written the document. So I think we need to take it seriously. Serious. Already, the whole world has taken it seriously. Even some of the United Nations uh, conventions on climate change, they treated Pope Francis sensitively with respect. <coughs> For example, the 2015, the same year, in December, there was a big International United Nations Convention in Paris. Actually, Pope has timed it so perfectly. Just six months before he launched the encyclical, because in that uh, convention, all the 220 nations are gathered together. Also, our uh, Prime Minister was also present there. Yeah? So they discussed about the sustainable development. So Pope Francis has already written beautifully in his book. So they used that book, uh, they studied that book, all the leaders. I'm sure our government, Prime Minister and the ministers also uh, have been updated on this book. Somebody has read the book thoroughly and then they briefed to our Prime Minister and the cabinet ministers about the content of this book. And when they went to the convention, actually they, everybody, all the leaders of the world had at the back of their head the mm -hmm. government. So I think the leadership of the church is very, very important. They have a respect all over the world to the, the Christian approach on environmental ethics. So I think that's a good I already told you know, about sustainable development. All the two twenty nations are talking about the Bible in other words. That is Genesis, I told you. Which quote? Genesis 2 15 till it can keep So that is the, the basic text to interpret uh, the sustainable development paradigm. And all the two nations, in other words, they are 